Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest uh, Card Design Concept. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number. You can call me, okay? Uh, you can see these are actually the list of the softwares which I've covered on our YouTube channel. Uh, they are very, very much available on that channel. Just go down below the description of this video. You find a link to that channel. Make sure you visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy, okay? Today I will be showing you how to actually come about a bridge design I'll be giving you an overview on how you can actually come about a bridge design using uh, the start pro software okay so uh, right away let's jump right into it I'll double click on this okay I think this software is open already uh, I'll click on a new project okay I'll click on new I'll just give this a name I'll name this bridge okay Oh, oh sorry I have to close this that I'm trying to open okay good so I'll use a metric uh, sorry let's come to configuration let's just check some things here briefly you can see this is actually the basic unit is in English I will switch this to uh, my metric I can change this color I have done all of this uh, in the previous uh, training on uh, the software okay uh, so I'll leave it as it is and then I'll click on ok I'll leave it on metric and then uh, I'll click on create okay so uh, from here I'm gonna be using the grid uh, in order to do this, I'll just click on uh, my beam grid. Uh, now this has actually popped up. Uh, I'll come to edit here uh, along my X. I'm going to make this span to be five five meters, and then uh, along my Y, I'm going to leave it as it is. And then uh, along this X, let's see, I have uh, four of this. Okay. I'll click on OK. Okay. What is going on? Okay, good. So I'm going to just draw here. On escape, click on snap load beam. Um, snap to here, escape. Snap to here to here. Let's keep. Uh, I'll highlight all of this. Okay. But before then, uh, I'm going to add a note at the mid of this point of this uh, beam. So I'll insert note. Uh, I'll come to add midpoint. Okay. So I'm just going to be uh, focusing on. Uh, the model I will just do a brief uh, um, uh, analysis on this just a brief one and then a very quick one okay brother and then uh, let's go to translational repeat here sorry let me highlight this okay uh, translational repeat Additional repeats. Uh, three steps. Uh, I'm gonna make this span to be ten meters. I'm just playing around with this, okay? Um, okay. So to design your bridge, a lot of things are put into consideration. Okay, you have to go to the site physically and see uh, how it is, okay, in order to come up with. Uh, uh, a decision of what uh, span and what length of uh, and then the height of the uh, bridge okay 
that will determine uh, that all of that okay uh, so right now I'm just doing a quick one so but in our part two of uh, this uh, training I'm going to be going deeper into uh, this bridge uh, design okay okay so you can see what we have here uh, here sorry I don't want this that is here so uh, I'm just going to manually select it and delete delete that okay so I'll hold on control okay so I'll just select all of this manually and delete it okay so I'll click on delete yes I've deleted all of that Going to close this grid. Close. Okay. Now you can see what we have here. Uh, from here, the next thing I'm going to do is to. Uh, you can see we are actually on geometry. It's just like uh, where you do uh, the basic modeling of uh, whatever structural member you want to design. Okay. Uh, so the next thing you do is just to go to uh, the properties okay so here we can actually define a property for uh, this uh, bridge whether it is a concrete whether it's actually going to be uh, the property sorry determines uh, the, the section of uh, uh, what do you call it the structural member we are actually going to be designing for uh, so here we can actually define so uh, let's say we want uh, this bridge to uh, the columns are uh, actually going to be a circular column. Uh, so I'm going to be defining uh, a thickness of a column to be, uh, you know, the essence of design is just for you to provide uh, your own sections, you know, and then uh, the software will tell you if it is safe or not. From there, it can actually, uh, it is you providing and then, uh, uh, then the software itself will actually give you a suitable uh, cross section that will actually uh, work better for uh, this structural member. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to be specifying a 300 uh, millimeter uh, column, and then uh, I will click on Add. And then uh, if I come to my beam, I'm going to use uh, let's say 300 by 600 uh, uh, beam. Okay. Uh, 300 uh, the depth sorry the depth is 600 the bottom is 300 I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna close if I come to thickness this is actually gonna be for the slab uh, let's say my slab is 200 uh, I add and then I close and then uh, let's come back to geometry here if I come to my geometry here, I'm going to actually mesh, uh, create a mesh. Okay, so I'll click here, I'll click here, click here, and click here for for my for my slab. Okay, and then lastly, I'll come here. Now I want this to be quadri quadrilateral. Okay, that's actually going to be like um, in triangles and all that I'll click on apply so uh, you can see what we have here it has been meshed uh, you can see the thickness of this slab I'm going to assign it to uh, this slab okay this property I'm going to assign it to the slab uh, so all I need to do right now is to uh, go to my selection and then uh, on my selection you can see this is for geometry this is for nodes this is for beams this is for plates uh, the plates happens to be for the slab so if I click on this parallel X down here this drop down menu if I click on XZ uh, it's going to highlight all of this for my slab now you can see uh, it is the plate here is selected so I'm going to assign to the selected plate I'll click on assign yes and then uh, I will come here for my beams. This time around, I'm going to select uh, my 
my X beams and then I'm going to select my Z beams as well along Z okay so all of those beams have been selected sorry you can see I did not select beam option here I'll have to come back here click on X and then uh, come back here click on my Z now you can see all those beams have been selected so I'm going to assign yes so on my beams again under these beams I'll come to my Y this is actually going to select all the columns that are here so if I click on Y instead of picking them one by one manually uh, this actually makes your work much more uh, easier and then faster okay so I'll click on Y uh, so all my Y has been selected uh, but then sorry I made a mistake again so it's actually on cycler now I'll go back there again and pick on my Y now all my Y has been selected I'm going to assign and I'll click on yes okay so uh, let's right click and go to uh, structure diagram uh, I'll put it on full section I'll click on apply and I'll click on okay now you can see uh, how this actually gonna look like uh, realistically you can see uh, this column showing us that is actually circular you can see the shape of the beams and all that now I'm going to take it back to unknown and I'll go apply and I'm going to click on ok ok so now uh, the next thing I'll do I'll go to my material now here I'm going to specify the kind of material uh, I want uh, this structural member to be uh, it's actually going to be a concrete material so I time to selected uh, beams so uh, I'm going to assign it to the view so every structural member that is here is actually going to be concrete so if I click on assign and I click on yes everything is actually going to be concrete as it is uh, so I'll go to my support here I'm going to create a support uh, you can see here is fixed here is pin here is fixed but uh, I've explained all of these in my previous training on uh, start pro if this is the first time you are going through any of my star pro uh, tutorial online I will advise you to go down below the description of this video uh, you find a link to that YouTube channel go to my channel and you actually will find uh, this uh, tutorial on start pro that will guide you through the process as a beginner okay uh, so I'm going to add a pin support and then on this pin uh, I will select my pin okay but then here I'll come back to my geometry on my geometry sorry on my view rather I mean to say view I'll click on my left view um, it will change this view for me so I'm just going to highlight down here okay so let's see what we have so I'll, I'll change this view to isometric so let's see what has just happened right now now you can see all of that has been selected okay uh, so this actually makes it easier for me so I'm going to assign to the selected node I will assign to selected node and I'll click on yes now you, you're going to see that all my support has been added to all of these uh, columns okay uh, so um, I'll go down to my load okay so under my load I'm going to be adding a load Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go to load. Sorry. Uh -oh. Sorry about that. I was supposed to add all of this load I'm adding right now load case okay sorry I come to load case here uh, I'm going to add a dead load and I'll make this DL for dead load and I'm going to add okay so uh, I'll close down this sorry I 
I'm going to take this down here now on my dead load uh, I'm going to add uh, a self weight now uh, you can see minus one on and it's actually on Y so that means it's acting downward uh, so I'll click on add and then I'll click on close now on this uh, I'm going to assign to my whole view uh, so that means my self weight is assigned to the whole view and I click on assign and I click on ok then I'll go to my analysis ok so on my analysis here I will define a command and I'll click on all you can see here we have perform analysis p data delta analysis perform cable analysis and all that so I'm going to use perform analysis uh, on the next video i'll be going deeper into all of this in order for you to have a deeper insight of what is actually going on right now uh so this is actually uh for concrete here okay okay so uh i'll run that analysis And I'll click on save so if you love what you're seeing why not like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually free click on the bell icon so as to get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay make sure that you stay safe and make sure that you stay blessed you can see that uh, it is actually analyzing this and it is actually